All right, we're back at the car right now. Just gonna put it back on and test the fit. Hey guys, so I've got that bracket mounted up right here. It goes over and you can see how it but right on top of the, the bolt hole. Uh, what I'm gonna recommend for you guys to do, um, you'll notice that my bracket has, uh, let's see if we can get this. It's got a slight, see how it's kind of off? It's not flush with the bumper. That's because I've got this, if it was flush, so pretty much if I took this and made it, you know, uh, a tangent or, you know, perpendicular uh, to this curve of the bumper, it would cover up this hole right here. And I've got a, a rally light that mounts to there, so I gotta do mine over here. Uh, so, this so is good right here. I like this. So, uh, I put the hole right in the center there. It's going to go right through. It's going to come out the other side. So, come out right here. And uh, right down there, and then we'll go drill a hole in the aluminum. I think we should be kosher. What we'll do is probably, uh, so is we'll put some, uh, some, some paint on the back of this, and then we'll, uh, and we'll drop it over the aluminum, drop on it, uh, the aluminum onto it, so we can mark our aluminum. All right, so right now we're going to measure the aluminum right here and uh, mark our folds. I did a test piece. I cut uh, like three inches off, and I bent it in half with a hammer and my uh, my table vise. Uh, so I think I think this is a uh, this is uh, yeah this is an eighth of an inch thick. I got this at Home Depot. I think it was seven dollars. Um, this whole strip will make two uh, mounts easily. Uh, this is definitely going to support the weight of that of that front mount. Like I'm really trying to bend this thing, and it's I got nothing. So uh, worst case scenario, I've got some three sixteenths inch aluminum. So I've needed. I, I can't see why you need that. Uh, we, we can always go with that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark the uh, the lines. So my first one was the bolt tab. That was one and a half inches. I'm gonna mark that, and then we go up from there. Let's go, uh, let's cut this off and let's go to the device. So our first bend is going to be, uh, here's the line, I'm going to knock it towards me. It's 
some nice contrast there. works all right and now we need to go over the bumper I'm gonna grab some gloves and a bigger hammer Okay, come out all right. Uh, you probably see that curve. Not the best metal worker in the world, but I do all right. And this last fold here is to. We get any awards for uh, aesthetics? I don't think so, but uh, it works. Hi, friends. Handheld right out, sorry. Here's the bracket. Goes right over, real nice. Uh, here's my here's my rally light hole right here. So, wait, this is gonna work for 99.999% of all of you. So. Right here, I look over. Look at that. Whatever right the hole. However, for me, that blocks my mounting point. So I said earlier, I need to like tilt it like this. So if I do that, I do that. I kind of turn it a little bit. You know it. It covers it, but not very well. So I'm gonna go and use these graph paper strips and uh, make a new bracket. I'm gonna do the folds right on the car, and then I can measure uh, how to properly uh, make my bends in my metal so that at the end of the day, my bracket ends up over here. Yet, uh, you can kinda see the hole right there. So the bracket, yeah, ends up over here, and it uh, is more to the left at the very, at the very end. Cheers. So here we go. You can see this is this is dead on, and you can see the tail is uh, out of line with the front, and you can even see. Let's get the, the white balance on this. The front. I mean, everything's got some weird angles to it. So I'm gonna paint this out on the aluminum and see if it fits now. All right, guys. Uh, round two was done. You see, I got my spot for the rally light hole and if I come over it's just in the right spot for the uh, for the front line cord. It's a pretty snug fit too which is nice so slide it over put the hole and then I'm gonna go drill right through here we come out this side and we'll put a, uh, a nut and a bolt. Secure that down. Some washers, 
and we're going to go measure first for where uh, this hole is. All right, guys, it's time to go uh, line up our bracket and uh, make a hole in it for the uh, front mount intercooler bolt. So I'm show you a trick. Some toothpaste, Q-tip, and some uh, clear, uh, clear packing tape. So I'm gonna cut off a piece. Tape. And we're gonna put it right over the bolt hole. So don't get it dirty. All right. <clears throat> so, a nice goober of uh, toothpaste, and we'll line it up. I'm going left-handed here. Line it up. With the center of the hole. All right. We're gonna take our bracket. Let me slide it straight down. Let's see what we got. And there's the center. Okay, so I kind of marked uh, four dots around the circle. I'm gonna go connect the lines, and I wipe the toothpaste up. So now I can draw an X. That's center. I'm at the drill press. Let's go put some oil on our drill bit. the hole now. Let's see how it fits. Perfect. Now we'll go tighten it down. All right, guys. So, it, you know, I thought, what the heck? Let's just try and fit these uh, these nineties on. Uh, I was kind of able to bend them out to a, more of a sixty degree angle. Uh, it does fit on uh, the stock clamp is down tight. I need to put a clamp right, uh, right here and a clamp right here. I think it will hold. It's not uh, optimally lined up, but I think if the hoses are tight enough, it will hold. The other side, this was the rough side over here. And you can probably see, you know, I've got it all connected right now. Uh, I, I tightened this guy down real tight. Uh, I was able to slip this 90 on, this 90 in the back here. What I want to do, I want to cut this off, I think. Um, if you can maybe see in there. Let's see if we can get that, the brightness. This, this black plastic piece is kind of rubbing up on this. And I think that if I get rid of that, uh, so let me cut that off right now.